God got it. He always got it. Good morning, beautiful people. It's your boy Shannon Comerson, a.k.a. The Rev. How you guys doing this beautiful Thursday morning? Um, I want to invite you guys out to our church, Word of Faith Outreach and Deliverance Ministries, 21 Main Street, WPA, 19023. Leaders, Apostle Byron Hope Lampkin and Pastor Patricia Lampkin. God got it, y'all. We got to give it to God. And yes, I did schedule me a haircut appointment. <clears throat> don't be don't be talking about me. Yes, I sometimes go and I wolf and I just wolf for no reason. I mean, it ain't like I can't go get an appointment. Maybe it's because life. Maybe it's because I just need to take the time out to do it. I don't know. I just go through these stages sometimes where I just be like, ugh, it is what it is, what it is. Um, but, you know, it's all good because long as I'm in God's presence, long as he's leading God in my footsteps, long as he's keeping me, you know, straight, hey, he gets the glory anyhow. Listen, man, the flesh, that thing is crazy, but the spirit is willing, right? As always, the spirit is willing, but the what? The flesh is weak. We all suffer with some things. We all go through some things. We all feel some things. We all desire some things. But we got to be mindful and we have to be careful to make sure that we're always seeking God and trying to walk in obedience and in his will. God might allow some things to happen and go on in our lives because he's trying to test us through a circumstance or a trial. And sometimes we fail that test miserably. And then once we fail it, we continue to go down deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into that rabbit hole. Um, but I'm here to encourage you. God will forgive you. If you turn from it, if you repent, the thing is, we don't want to continue to willfully sin. Right. So we got to go to God in that. We got to go to God in that area, whatever that area it is, whatever that area you're weak in. We ought to go to God in that area and ask for his strength, because in our weakness, right in our weakness through christ we're made strong but it's god that makes us strong when we try to do things on our own power and our own authority we mess it up all the time when we think we're strong enough to go back into that neighborhood or into that bar or into that situation we mess it up let me tell you something when i stopped smoking weed <clears throat> when i stopped smoking weed it took me a minute to be able to go around the areas that I used to go around because I used to blow, right? I'm telling you, it was at a point where if you drew my blood, you was going to get pure THC. That's how much weed I used to smoke. And I'm not boasting. I'm not bragging. What I'm telling you is when God delivered me and took the taste out of my mouth, it took me a minute to be able to go around the people that I used to hang around so that I would not fall back into temptation. That's why God always tells us to remove ourselves from the situation. If you think about it, Jesus always went and prayed. Moses went up in the mountain and prayed. All the disciples and the apostles and the prophets, they removed themselves from the situation. They prayed, they fasted, and they asked God for deliverance and to do whatever he needs to do. And then they went back into the area or the place that they needed to go back into. So when I stopped smoking, I had to remove myself from the people. Some people got upset. Some people said that I abandoned them. Some people said that I thought I was better than them. That's okay. But I knew that it was my calling and I needed to separate myself so that God can do what he needed to do in me and through me. So then I could probably go back and tell them about the uh, m the miraculous and the marvelous things that God has done for me. Some of them, you know what I mean, caught it and they gave their life to Christ. Some of them didn't and they still do what they do, but they think that that's the right thing for them to do. Who am I? Who am I? I leave them to that. God got that. All I can do is plant the seed. 
That's it. Now, if it if sprout, it sprout. If it fall on good ground, it fall on good ground. If it fall on the concrete, then it fall on the concrete. If it fall on a little bit of soil and it sprout up, but there's not enough soil to contain it, then it might wither away and die. I don't know. <clears throat> That's God's call. <clears throat> not mine, excuse me. But I understand now in life that I have to leave it to God. I pray and I leave it at the altar. The problem that we have as believers sometimes is that we will pray about a thing and then we'll go pick it up again and then pray about it again as if God did not hear our prayers. I remember when Daniel was praying and the angel said, listen, I heard you from day one, but I had to fight through some stuff to get here. He had the angel had to fight through some stuff to get here. The messenger had to fight through some stuff to let Daniel know God hurt you. He hurt you. The Holy Spirit is saying, I hear you. I hear your prayers. I hear what you're going through. Don't pick it back up. Just because I'm not moving on your timing. Just because I have not done it yet does not mean that I'm not going to do it. But even if I don't do it, my grace is sufficient enough for you. Because in it, in it, you're going to see my glory. And the people are going to see my glory through what it is that you do. Because you stayed strong, you stayed faithful, and you stayed obedient. So now I will bless you even the more. God got it. Stop listening to the voices. Silence them. Stop listening to people telling you to abandon your God. Stop listening to that past trauma and that past hurt that you suffered with when you were a child. When people told you you were never going to be good enough. When people told you you were never going to make it. When people told you you was going to always be that whore. When people told you you were going to always be that addict. When people told you you wasn't smart enough. God said, I created you in the image of myself. And before you were formed in your mother's womb, I had this plan for you. And I will appoint you as prophet over the nation. Trust in God, believe in his word, and stay in his presence. I love you all with the love of God. There's nothing you can do about it. We can do all things through Christ that gives us strength. And never forget, I am my brother's keeper. And I'm also my sister's protector. And so are you. Peace.